and intrinsic in his speech is the appreciation of the church, the choice of Port Harcourt, the capital of River State, as the World Book Capital 2014. Of course, let's not forget that Port Harcourt has been organizing the Port Harcourt Book Fair, one of the most impressive gatherings that uh, showcases the importance of books in the country, and perhaps that must have informed to a very large extent the choice of the city as the world book capital for today. All the voyages of their lives is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a sea are we now afloat. We must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. River State is a great state. It is the book capital of the world, and we are moving forward. And to show support, ladies and gentlemen, from the presidency, it gives me the honor to invite the special assistant to the president on documentation, Ms. Molara Wood, to give us a message from the presidency. Please, a round of applause. Excellency, Governor Rotimi Amechi of River State, the host. Your Excellency, the former head of state, retired General Abdusalami Abubakar, our eminent uh, Nobel laureate, Professor Walesho Yinka, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the address from Mr. President to this August occasion. I am indeed very pleased to join you all on this great and historic day in the city of Port Harcourt. This is designation of Port Harcourt as UNESCO Book Capital 2014 is a major achievement that establishes this city as a center of enlightenment and scholarship and one which going forward we can all build upon to reinforce the reading culture and improve the value of written information to the development of the thought process of humanity. I would like to commend the movers of this successful bid for the World Book Capital 2014, a visionary endeavor that saw Port Harcourt beat 10 major cities of the world, including the renowned educational city of Oxford, the Rainbow Book Club under the able guidance of Mrs. Coco Kalango, who worked tirelessly towards this uh, investiture, that is clearly unprecedented in sub-Saharan Africa. We are most grateful, madam. The River State Government, under the leadership of Governor Rotimi Amechi, must also be commended for its direction and wonderful support for the Rainbow Book Club and the World Book Capital Bid. Today's event is a testament to what can be achieved when well-meaning individuals and organizations are supported by government to push forward ideas that will transform and enrich the, the society. Soon after, I assumed office as president and in recognition of the importance of scholarship to the quality of our youth and society, I launched the Bring Back the Book campaign, a citizen's framework to revive the reading culture in our communal and national survival spaces. The Bring Back the Book initiative was conceived as a citizen's framework to be driven by Nigerians themselves and Mrs. K Mrs. Kalango and her team in their constant efforts to place the book at the center of our national life are a shining example of individuals that have taken up the challenge to bring back the book. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, Port Harcourt has for many years been a pivot of book and literature-centered discussion, as well as a melting pot for writers and artists whose works help to enrich our lives. It is against this background that the federal government, through its support, behind the Port Harcourt World Book Capital Bid. It is to the glory of our collective effort that the shared golden dream of the Rainbow Book Club and the entire readership and literary community for this city has today been realized.
the special position of this city in the book world owes largely to the Port Harcourt Book Festival, organized by the Rainbow Book Club, with its monthly readings, guest writers, and role models inspiring the young ones through reading events, library rehabilitation, and other activities. It is no surprise, therefore, that UNESCO has recognized these antecedents through its designation of Port Harcourt as World Book Capital 2014. The Port Harcourt World Book Capital program is rich and varied and will touch every age group, especially the youth. It is heartening to note that the international dimension will ensure that these activities will resonate around Africa and, ex and extend to the global book world. For the first time, the short list of the prestigious Kem Prize for African Writing is being unveiled in Nigeria, right here in Port Harcourt, as part of World Book Capital events. Without doubt, the writers on the Kane shortlist will number among the future touch bearers for writings from the African continent. At the London Book Fair earlier this month, the Rainbow Book Club, in collaboration with the Hay Festival and Bloomsbury Publishers, unveiled Africa 39, a list of sub-Saharan Africa's most promising writers under the age of 40. The Africa 39 list makes for an exciting multi-generational dialogue between our writers and points to a vibrant future for the book in our society and development. The Africa 39 writers clearly show themselves yearning to step into the large shoes of their venerated elders, which include our Nobel laureate, Professor Wale Inka, Captain Elechi Amadi, Pa Gabriel Okara, and Professor J.P. Bekederemo Clark, who are here with us for these uh, ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, the role of the writer in society is unassailable as evident in the life and work of the great author, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, who died last week at the age of 87, and whose immense contribution to world literature has elicited a flood of tributes from world leaders, eminent writers, and book lovers in attestation to his incomparable influence on their lives. May we all reflect on the example of Gabriel Garcia Marquez the late Chinua Achebe and our luminary writers, and the enormity of their influence and fondness of their memory derived through written word, and always remember as we celebrate the book and strive to elevate our reading culture, that words written or read are veritable tools for the redirection and development of mankind. I welcome all who will be part of the Port Harcourt World Book Capital activities over the next 12 months and especially our youth, whose advancement in capacity, discipline, values, and productivity would be the ultimate manifest of this historic convert. I thank you. That was the address of uh, President Goodluck Jonathan delivered by his uh, representative at this occasion, the special assistant to the President on Documentation, Ms. Molara Rhodes. Very important to note the point which he made, or which the President made about the Bring Back the Book campaign, which was an initiative that was aimed at reawakening interest in reading, interest in books among Nigerians. And of course, it was also an initiative that was ably supported and uh, actively propagated by the Rainbow Book Club, whose uh, founder and chairperson is uh, here among us today, one of the moving spirits behind this occasion. We will now receive remarks by the Chairman for Hackett World Book Capital Implementation Committee, Engineer Tele Ikuru, the Deputy Governor of River State. Let's welcome him, please. 